Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, My sheep hear my voice. Be alert, my child, for the enemy has increased its attacks against my church, using confusion within this hour. Confusion comes in many forms, from false doctrine to false prophets to lying lips to counterfeit voices. So be careful to the voice that you are listening to within this hour. Those negative external and internal voices of wrong thinking, feelings, emotions and desires. They are all influenced by the diabolical deceptions from the enemy and his destructive demonic spirits. My people are letting fear and insecurities run and rule their lives. I have not called you to live in fear. Fear has no place in my kingdom or economy. Do you believe all the bad reports that you hear? I cannot give you what you will not accept in your heart and mind. There are many voices out there contending for your attention. Many voices will even attempt to speak for me, but I do not send them. Listen to my voice, for I will speak directly to you and confirm to you through my word. Know that I have called you within this hour for a purpose. Rise above the storm and follow the sound of my voice so that you may see what I am doing in this season. Be persistent in your prayers to me and seek the face and the place of honor that I have set aside for you. Stop listening to other voices that are leading you in the wrong direction. Remember, my sheep hear my voice and follow after me. Allow me to kindle the flames in your heart uh, once again and allow the negatives of this world to become your stepping stones to higher ground in my presence. As you will do this, you will see things from a different perspective. Come into alignment with my purpose. I am going to heal your broken heart. You are going to laugh again. You are going to trust again. You are going to love again. And I will restore what you have lost. If you have been held back by negative words spoken over your life today or in the past or negative people who have tried to hold you back, it's time to move forward. Let go and forgive those people and release them into my arms. If you are going to internalize anything this day, internalize this. You are talented, beautiful, and more than capable of filling and fulfilling your destiny and the destiny I have planned for your life. Who told you that you're not going to love again? Who told you that you're not going to be healthy again? Who told you that you're not going to accomplish your dreams? Who told you you're not going to accomplish the mission and the vision that I have for you? Don't believe those lies. Start looking again. Start dreaming again. Start believing again because I will always have the final say and I am on your side. If you want change, start by aligning with my will and my voice. Be a flexible pawn in my game of chess and I will position you in the most key strategic places. Places where you will be used by me to bring about the change that my people have prayed for. Stop running after fear and run towards my love and grace. Rise above the storm and take every opportunity that I am giving you. Let's, it's never too late to repent and turn back to the right path as I will never turn away a humble and a contrite heart. Did I not say that I would guide you into all things? Then listen to my voice when it is necessary to correct the wrong turn that only lands you in a dead end situation or relationship. You will hear my voice saying, recalculate your position because there is diversion from what I originally had in mind for your life. This is now and how I will keep you from being condemned to a plan B outcome. 
Repentance is going and doing a 180 degree turn from that wrong direction that you have been heading. My purpose for your life is always for you to know me each day more and more. Don't assume you know exactly what that purpose looks like. I can absolutely assure you that you have no idea about exactly how I will get you to the perfect will that I have planned for your life. It is time to get rid of the weight of unnecessary, unhelpful relationships and involvements that have only slowed you down and let you be discouraged. Stop listening to those and the voices of those on the sidelines of your life. They are only those that do nothing. Those who only wisdom is that there is nothing to do. I have a plan and it is unfolding whether you see it or perceive it. And I am bringing you to my secret place where I will reveal that plan to you every single day. Day. Stop listening to the wrong voices and take the limits off your life. You are destined for greatness. Are you ready? Are you ready to hear my voice? For my sheep hear my voice and they will follow after me. Shalom, shalom, hallelujah. There are three ways to distinguish God's voice, Satan's voice. We must know because within this hour there is a heavy attack upon the saints. One of the most necessary skills to have in your spiritual life is the ability to discern who is speaking to us in the depths of our soul, in the depths of our spirit. Without this school, we run the risk of following the voice that leads us away from God to a place of eternal loneliness and despair. So let's look at some things here of how we can see that through the word of God directs us to the voice of the good shepherd instead of the wolves in sheep's clothing. In particular, Satan's voice always has three qualities. So when we see Satan, the first thing it will always do with his voice, it contradicts God's word. So just like Adam and Eve in the garden, Satan always lures us away from God's word, from God's commands. Satan will try to convince us that we don't need to pray or go to church. Rather, we will stay in within that situation. He will say that pornography really isn't all that bad or gossip doesn't really hurt anyone. Let's look at what the Bible says in Genesis 3, 4 to 5. He promised these things. He said to Eve, he said, you surely will not die. The serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be open and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. See, this is an effective technique that the devil has mastered very well and has had thousands of years to practice. Think about the consequences for mankind when the devil twisted God's word in the Garden of Eden and remember how Satan tried to tempt Jesus in the beginning of his ministry. He twisted the word of God just a little bit, making it seem that he was saying the exact opposite of the actual meaning. He uses just a, a smattering of truth to make what he says seem legit. What deception. So what do we always do? We always study scripture in light of scripture. We always study the Old Testament in light of the New Testament. We study the Gospels in the light of the epistles of Paul, beginning in Romans. So what we can do is have a the the theological and doctrinal understanding of the life of Christ, why he came and what he is all about. Hallelujah. It is always wise whenever you want to study a verse in context of the chapter and in context of the book that you're reading from. That is why we need to form our conscious well also within God's word and his commandments and not just stop at thou shalt not murder, but there is much more to that commandment than killing another person because Jesus also said that even if you have hate your brother or hate another
another person, it becomes the spirit of murder. What else does this devil do? He creates anxiety in you rather than peace. So the Bible says, according to Psalm 29 verse 11, the Lord will give strength to his people and the Lord will bless his people with peace. See, the Lord will always, when he's speaking to you, there will be a peace in your heart that when his voice is speaking, that you will have peace in your heart, knowing that that is for you to listen to. See, Satan seeks to divide and conquer. And in the process, he creates great confusion in our lives. So in effect, one of the most common strategies of the devil in his efforts is to distance us from God and to slow our spiritual progress is to attempt to cause the loss of our interior peace and internal peace. The devil does his utmost to banish peace from one's heart because he knows that God abides in peace and it is in peace that he accomplishes great things. So the key here is to always test the voice and decision to see if it creates peace or anxiety in our hearts. This is a vital part of discerning God's will every day, especially when it comes to discerning God's will for our lives. God is a God of peace. So you always have to discern, is that giving me peace? Or is that bringing conviction? Then that's another thing. But if it brings peace, knowing that that conviction is from the Holy Spirit, then you must hear it, adhere to that voice. Another thing the devil does is he always accuses us and brings us down. So another key aspect of God's voice is that he always seeks to affirm us and tells us about our, uh, our beauty as children of God. See, the devil will always try to convince us that we are terrible, horrible, awful human beings. But he will do his worst to tell us that we are worthless, sinful, wretched men and women, and we are not even worthy to come to God. So after we have committed a sin, Satan will always tell us that God does not love us and that we are not worthy enough to go to him for repentance and that he will never forgive us. Because remember, Satan is the accuser. So the Bible says in Revelation 12 verse 9, it says, And the great dragon was cast out, that serpent of old, called the devil, and Satan which deceiveth the whole world. And he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. And they love not their own lives until their death. Hallelujah. So the devil hates when we repent with all of his might and he will do what he can to tell us how miserable we are and that we could never receive God's mercy. So on the other hand, God will always tell us how beautiful we are in the eyes of him and how we must never be afraid to come to him. And he is always willing to forgive and show mercy. He is the father of the prodigal son, always ready to embrace us after we have fallen and, and, and even left him at times. God desires to hold a banquet for us, to kill even the fattened calf. God is our advocate. The spiritual battle for our soul is not easy, but by taking up these principles, we will be better able to follow God's voice instead of the who seeks to kill, steal and destroy. That's right the enemy of our souls. What voice are you listening to today? Heavenly Father, I thank you in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ for each person listening today. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the anointing. Lord, I thank you for that anointing right now. You said whatever you bind on this earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever is loosened on this earth shall be loosened in heaven. Lord, I declare today that every voice that is speaking to them that is not of you, we bind that voice right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 4 to five says for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty in God for pulling down strongholds arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God 
taking every thought captive under the obedience of Christ. It is time for us to arise. It's time for us to take hold of those thoughts captives. It's time to hear the good voice of the shepherd today. Lord, I thank you for each person that is listening to the voice of this tongue right now. Lord, I thank you that you will bless them. Lord, that you will fill them with your eternal peace. You will fill them with your love, your joy, and your happiness also. Guide and lead them also into all truth, that they may hear your voice. Lord, that they'll be be able to hear the enemy's voice. They'll be able to hear the tricks that he's playing, the insecurities, the fears, all the different things that he's doing to take them away. Lord, wherever they've felt shame, wherever they've felt that they could not even come into God's presence, Lord, we thank you that you've exposed that to be a lie today because you're a merciful God and you're a God of second chances. If that's you today, I encourage you to come before the Lord and seek him in meekness, seek him in humbleness, because he will never turn away a seeking heart who comes to him with a contrite and a broken heart. He is opening his arms. He is available for you to come. Speak to him today. He will cover you. He will forgive you of any sin that you've committed. Ask him to forgive you today in Jesus' mighty name we pray. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrapath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It's time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. If you've liked this post, I encourage you to subscribe or forward to a friend that they may also be blessed. And there are hundreds of prayers and teachings there free of charge just to bless you in your spiritual walk as we are anticipating and praying as the Lord tarries in his coming. We are praying for a great revival to break out into his remnant church that want to seek him with all of their heart and soul within this hour. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.